Greetings electric vehicle enthusiasts and those just looking to hear about some of the biggest developments. My kitchen may be quiet, but the EV world is anything but. And luckily the business download clean energy is here to break down the biggest stories of the week. Let's go. Chevy's teaming up with Walt Disney World for a Valentine's Day reveal of its revamped all-electric 2022 Bolt EV hatchback and Bolt EUV crossover, which is a brand new vehicle. In a video teaser released by Chevy, the company showed the back of the EUV and gave us a little bit of that Disney magic we all know and love. The automaker promises that the event will, quote, show how magic can take place when the imagination is electrified, end quote, as only Disney can. Now, according to Motor Trend, the EVs are going to be starting at around 40,000, and Chevy's parent company, GM, has said it will roll out 30 EVs by 2025. And I don't know about you, but I am hopefully looking forward to seeing Mickey behind the wheel. There is new footage out showing EV startup Rivian's sharp upcoming R1T all electric pickup out testing on public roads as Inside EVs reports. Now Rivian is set to begin delivering the vehicle starting this summer as it looks to become the first automaker to have an all electric pickup on the market. That is unless Elon Musk has a trick up his sleeve with the Tesla Cybertruck. We'll just have to see. The R1T starts at $67,000, will boast an impressive 300 plus mile range and will be built at Rivian's Illinois factory. Now the company also made headlines this week for hauling $2.65 billion in a T. Rowe Price-led funding round. The capital markets continue to be excited by these innovative American manufacturers, and so are we. What if you could charge your EV in the same time that it takes to fill up your gas-powered car? Well, a company called StoreDot is working toward making that a reality. The company partnered with Eve Energy to build an EV battery with just a five-minute charge time. As Business Insider reports, StoreDot has produced a thousand of these batteries to showcase the tech to buyers and investors. Now, it is important to note that the batteries do require significantly higher power charging than what's currently on the market, but the faster charging could make EVs more accessible in the future. Owner of the Jeep and Dodge brand Stellantis said that this year it will release 10 new EVs or hybrids. The company CEO Carlos Tavares said that for every new model released, there will be an electric version, CNBC reports. The announcement comes in the wake of a $52 billion Stellantis merger between Fiat Chrysler and Group PSA that was settled Saturday. The company's shares soared more than 11% during its New York Stock Exchange debut on Tuesday. Finally, luxury car maker Porsche will offer a new base model of its Taycan all-electric vehicle, which initially started at $103,000 in the U.S. for a more, emphasis on more, affordable $79,000 starting price. Now, Porsche will remove a front motor from this new Taycan that will reduce the vehicle's weight by 200 pounds and will add a smaller 79.2 kilowatt hour battery. While we are still awaiting an official EPA range estimate, it is looking like the Taycan is going to get about 200 miles of range. Now, Porsche sold 20,000 Taycans last year, which was its first year of production, and it is quickly becoming one of its top selling models. You might remember last week when I said that the Taycan puts the swag in Volkswagen. Well, evidently, others think so too. And that is it for this week's wrap-up. Thanks for letting us catch you up on all things EV, and we will see you back here next week. <laughs>